Welcome to Houston Happens. I'm Hannah Chirpit here to help you with the questions people may be having this time of year. You know, the ones regarding health care, taxes. Oh, and uh, when do the Astros play in the World Series? We've gotten used to asking that last one lately. Well, good thing I have the answer for you. Major League Baseball released the times for the games on Monday, so let's get those watch parties planned accordingly. First pitch for Game 1 is this Friday at 7.03 from Minute Maid Park. In fact, they made it pretty easy on us, so just copy and paste that time to all of the other dates for all seven games if needed. But if the series is anything like the past two the Astros have had, they won't be needing any extra games. But now we've got to talk about how much money you have to shell out to even have the opportunity to stand for all nine innings at the World Series. Have you seen how much tickets cost? For games one and two in Houston, I looked up like Ticketmaster, StubHub, they all have around $400 for standing room only, up to 7,000 if you want to sit pretty close to the action. In Philly, the cheapest tickets I could find were around $900. So yeah, watch party I think sounds pretty good, but here's the thing, watching it on TV, you might actually be able to see everything a little bit better. That's how I like to do it. You know, things you might want to see when Jeremy Pena hits a home run and he does the heart for his mama. So speaking of Pena, Matt Paddock takes us to Pena's hometown, Providence, Rhode Island, and the first baseball field he played on. And he swings and lifts one in the air deep to left field. He'll watch it fly. Jeremy Pena. Jeremy Pena's rise to stardom has been nothing short of astronomical. Exciting for us to see someone make it big time like this. This year's historic postseason helping make Pena a household name. First, with a series clinching 18th inning home run in the ALDS. Into the 18th inning, I still had it on and was looking for that to happen, so it was pretty exciting. Then on Sunday, being named the ALCS MVP after this game tying three run blast against the Yankees. Yeah, I'm a New York Yankees fan, so, but if I want to have any team beat, it would be Jeremy's team. When, when he got up and hit the three run home run, I was like, that's it. This kid's, I, I said from the beginning, if we're going to lose, it's going to be because of him. While many know Pena from his time at classical high school, his former Little League coaches say his baseball journey in the States started right here in Providence at Elmwood Field after moving to Rhode Island from the Dominican Republic. Elmwood Little League's been in existence for 72 years. And he's the very first player to come out of our league to be a professional baseball player in the majors. James Taylor sharing photos of Pena back during his Little League playing days, admitting no one knew just how good he would be, but says he couldn't be prouder. You know, words alone can't express how I feel about being so proud of a kid from Providence who I coached that have, you know, moved on to the major leagues and did such an ex extraordinary job. And Talon says Pena continues to be humble as can be. You know, we've talked to Jeremy uh, fairly recently, uh, you know, and he doesn't forget where he came from. He, you know, he hasn't let it go to his head, which is really neat. That's incredible. Love to see a story like that. So much Astros orange up in that area, too. It's pretty good. Well, have you believed the commercials that tell you how much money you can save on taxes? Finish Line Tax Solutions is here to help clear up any confusion when it comes to tax resolution. Well, you know what time it is. It's that time of week for Tax Tip Tuesday with our good friend Scott from Finish Line Tax Solutions. As always, a pleasure having you on the show. So glad to be here. So the topic this week, IRS tax settlements. So what does tax resolution really mean? You know, we could take up your whole show talking about this. I'm going to try to narrow it down to two minutes or so. Um, people call us literally all day, every day, asking us how much can we get their, how low can we get their tax debt reduced? Um, and the reason people believe and think that way is because they're being miseducated by the various commercials on television that claim, yeah, we can get your tax, call us today if you're over $10,000, we'll get your tax debt reduced down to $3, you know, yeah. just something ridiculous. And that's not truly the te definition of tax resolution. Tax, the true definition of tax resolution is not about what you save. What's, what it's about is what you don't lose. And that's something that everyone should truly be uh, aware of. Um, yeah, it's great to save money. And there are there is a very small segment of the population that may qualify for a tax reduction, but you don't want to be in that category. Because if you are, that means you have no ability to pay, you have no job, you have no income, no assets, and the IRS understands that. Most people, thank thankfully, are not in that situation, and they do have a job. They do have something to lose. So it's not about what you save, it's about, it's about what you don't lose. 
Well, so can we get our debt lowered or eliminated? You can, uh, but again, those people who do fall into that category are in a situation that none of us really want to be in. You know, they're the folks who are under the in or under the poverty line, and they have literally no ability to pay, no future earning potential. Their debt to income ratio is out of proportion. It's a really bad situation. So it's a good thing to not qualify for that type of resolution. But what I want to be clear on is that. So a, a, a reduction does not necessarily mean that is the only resolution in, uh, available. Oh, okay. So how do we contact you? I feel like you would explain our different steps we can do. Yeah, I, I gave you the two minute version. We could share a lot more when folks call us and get, we'll offer some free information. You can reach us at 866-542-5477, or you can go online at finishlinetaxsolutions.com or go to kickirs.com as well. You can reach us either way. And a lot of people have reached out to you. You've been featured in numerous publications about this, and you guys are rated so highly. So definitely, we trust you for sure. As thank always, you. thank you for this week's Tax Tip Tuesday. And thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited about today because we are celebrating International Artist Day to honor the contributions that all artists make. You know, the word artist encompasses many different talents, so I'm joined by painter Monica Melgar to discuss her work that you can see here, incredibly beautiful. And Monica, uh, what does International Artist Day really uh, mean to you? Well, it means basically the celebration of everything that I put all my energy and life into. It's, it's everything for me, basically, and I love that it's celebrated on an international level. I know, and we get to celebrate with you. Can you tell us a little bit about maybe some of these paintings that we have? We were just talking about this one. Can everyone see <laughs> little Houston Astros pride going on right now? Can you tell us a, a little bit about some of these paintings? Yes, so um, my biggest, uh, I'd say, um, thing to show off is that all of these paintings are made ha um, freehand and uh, with a paintbrush. Um, some people think it's markers or that I use some kind of tool, so it's all freehanded with teeny tiny paintbrush. Oh my god, if you could see, yeah, you can see little tiny, the lines in the here, that's yep. incredible. Mm -hmm. How long would it take, does it take you to do, especially like this large one back here? So not as long as you think, because I work very fast, I'm a okay. little neurotic and OCD-ish, but, um, <laughs> but uh, uh, this one would take, I would say, like actual, like real time, if I time, like about four hours maybe. Oh wow, okay. Uh, that's but really yeah. So um, I guess, how long have you been an artist? How long have you been putting together paintings? Well, I've been an artist, if you ask my mom, since I was three, painting stick figures. But, um, but professionally, I've been doing this for about 10 years here in Houston. Oh, that's amazing. And for people who, uh, I guess, what inspires you in, to do some of these paintings? Well, um, honestly, I get inspired by the artist uh, scene and, yeah. and the artists themselves. Uh, it's kind of like, um, it's positive peer pressure to see all the artists um, making wonderful work and we're all very supportive of each other um, in the Houston arts community. Yeah. So I get inspired by other artists, honestly. I like that positive peer pressure. Absolutely. Not all peer pressure has to be bad. Okay, so what is kind of your expertise? Would you say it's this type of painting or is it murals or sculptures? It's honestly a little bit of everything. I can paint on anything. Yeah. And even though uh, some of my stuff is abstract, as you can see, I can make actual you know, figures. Yeah. Um, but mostly I do canvas work or on paper, okay. but I can, I, I've also done murals um, indoor and outdoor. Mm -hmm. So last question, where can people go if they want to see or just purchase some of your work? So they can um, go to monicamelgarart.com, mm -hmm. of course, online, but um, I have a studio at Sawyer Yards. Okay. At, at Winter Street specifically, Studio A6. Um, every second Saturday of the month, we're open and free to the public. Awesome. And there's um, over 200 artists there in that whole Sawyer Yards complex. Well, Monica, thank you so much for joining us today. We'll have all of this information on our website after the show, CW39.com, but don't go anywhere. Houston Happens returns right after this. We love you because of you keep it real. <laughs> Judge Mavis, next on CW39 Houston. 104.1. K R E. It's my number one. Home of the Rula and Ryan show. Can't wake up without it. We've got roses, revenge, and special case prank calls. The Rula and Ryan show. Come on, dance with me. I'm and all your favorite songs. All the biggest hits. KRB is my station. Houston's number one hit music station. 104.1 KRBE. Your Honor, this defendant was out on bond for three charges of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon when he tried to strangle his girlfriend. Another release will likely cause lives. The state moves to deny bail. The state's motion is denied. The defendant is released from custody. 
After being released on bond again by a Democrat judge, this career criminal killed two men and assaulted a police officer. Keep dangerous criminals behind bars. Vote out soft on crime Democrat judges. Hi, I'm Micah with SellToMicah.com, and we want to buy your house. I'll make you an as-is cash offer on your house within 24 hours. Whether it's a total fixer-upper or in perfect condition, SellToMica.com is the easiest way to sell your house. When you sell your house to SellToMica.com, there are no fees, no commissions, no banks, and no repairs. Just go to SellToMica.com for a free cash offer 24 hours a day. That's SellToMica.com. Age comes with wisdom. And wisdom comes with benefits. Dryer's broken. You want a socket. So make the wise call and compare your Medicare Advantage plan with Cigna. Or it's molar. Cigna Medicare Advantage plans offer savings on your Part B premium, up to $20,000 in covered dental services, and a Cigna Healthy Today Flex card for easy access to rewards and select benefits. <laughs> So if you're 65 or older, call 1-855-721-1539 today. Cigna also offers hearing, vision, and an over-the-counter allowance all in one plan. Piggy bank. And up to $200 for doing healthy activities. So call 1-855-721-1539. That number again is 1-855-721-1539 to compare your Medicare Advantage plan to Cigna. Houston happens. Now we're joined today by Shayla Benitez, a Medicare expert with ANALO, a licensed insurance agency on a mission to guide Latinos in finding Medicare Advantage plans that support their health care needs within budget. One of the more important things. Shayla here to discuss those health care concerns, Medicare annual enrollment period questions many in our community have. So Shayla, what are some of the health care concerns you are hearing from Hispanic Medicare beneficiaries that you and your team at ANALO help? Absolutely. So we've hear, heard that through Medicare um, beneficiaries that they're concerned about the rising in cost of food, gas, electricity, which takes away from them being able to dedicate time and, and money to their health care needs, which is extremely important. And that's where Anello can step in and help. So many of us are familiar with Medicare, but it can be a little confusing. Can you help explain how people who are new to Medicare or who have already have original Medicare could improve their health coverage and save money? Absolutely. We get that question a lot. So some people think that having original Medicare is enough. And this actually only covers hospital and medical versus getting Medicare Advantage, which offers the same benefits as Medicare, uh, original Medicare, but they include additional benefits like coverage for dental, vision, hearing, or even prescription drugs. Most Medicare beneficiaries can save up to $2,300 a year. Mm. Wow, that's a large number there. So there are some important deadlines here, but can you tell us why it's so important for Medicare beneficiaries to act now? Well, right now it's the annual enrollment period for Medicare, which for some could be one of the only opportunities they'll get to um, make sure that they have additional benefits through Medicare Advantage. So giving us a call today at the 800-849-0720, it's a great timing to be able to um, take advantage of this Medicare Advantage before it expires uh, December 7th. All right, I know you just gave the number, but there, is there anywhere else viewers can go to get additional information and guidance on finding the Medicare Advantage plan that works for them? Yes, it's simple. The 800-849-0720 or our website, anelosalud.com. That's A-N-H-E-L-O-S-A-L-U-D.com. Well, Shayla, thank you so much for all of that information and for joining us this morning. Thank you. Well, now there are even more ways for you to save this year. Maggie actually spoke with Power Wizard and has the details this morning. Well, when it comes to electricity deals and rates, we always want to save money. So Power Wizard is here to help us do just that. Our good friend Jeff is back on the show. Thanks so much for waking up with us. Well, I am glad to be here. So I have a question for you. Okay. When you go to shop, what's the first thing you do? I look on my favorite search engine for the best price. 
Yeah, that's what everybody does. I mean, first thing, I mean, you want to be an educated consumer. So you go out to the search engine and you type shopping for Texas electricity and all these companies show up that look like they have shopping tools. The challenge is these shopping tools and these companies are getting paid high commissions from your electricity company. And I've seen some of these commissions be over $200. What? $200, these companies, websites are getting paid for selling you electricity. And guess what? That means you're paying a higher rate. That makes me mad. That's sneaky deaky. I don't like it. That is very sneaky. And so one of the things we tell people is if you go to a shopping tool and you're not paying that company the money to pay, use that tool, there's probably commissions happening behind the scenes that are costing you real dollars. And so that's why we built Power Wizard. Power Wizard really said, let's build great shopping tools, but let's get the customer the cheapest rate possible. And we just charge you a simple $14.95 one-time fee to use our shopping tools so you can go shop for the best electricity price. So a one-time payment and you're not getting a cut from anybody. We're not getting a cut from anybody for uh, that $14.95 and that gives you the right to use those tools and you can do all kinds of searches. Do you want long-term plans, short-term plans? And the tool also looks at the usage for your house and gets the right product for your house so you're not only getting a low price but it's perfectly structured for your house. I love this and it's a lot of do it yourself so you can kind of see it yourself and you feel comfortable. Yeah, so we, it, it is totally a do-it-yourself product, and so you're able to jump out there for that $14.95 one-time fee, pick the right plan for your house. But we also know that some customers are like, I just don't want to do anything. And so for an additional, uh, for $89 a year, we'll actually do all that work for you. We'll actually pick your plan, do the enrollment, take care of your renewals, uh, because some people just want it taken care of, and other people want to do DIY. Whatever the customer prefers, we will set up the right, we will set up a plan that makes sense for you. Listen, I want you to handle everything, including breaking up with my previous company and handling all of that. <laughs> yeah, we will work with sometimes with your previous uh, provider, we'll work with you. And so we just tell people, come to powerwizard.com, use our tools. If you're a little uncomfortable or you have questions, we have agents that are here six days a week. Give us a call. We're here to help you shop for electricity. And that, that's what Power Wizard is all about. All right. And thank you for always helping us save money while you're at it. Thanks so much, my friend. Thank you. Now we're going back to talking about your health and it can be a painful experience one many women deal with in fibroids. So Dr. Eric Hardy joins us now to tell us about a procedure that could help many dealing with this condition. So first of all, thank you so much for joining us this morning. And mm -hmm. can you tell us a little bit about Houston fibroids and Texas endovascular first? Well, Texas endovascular, we're an outpatient vascular practice specializing in minimally invasive image guided procedures that can replace a lot of traditional surgeries. Uh, that sounds like it's gonna be a lot better for recovery for some of these patients. So I understand that you offer that treatment, uterine fibroids. Can you tell us more about that and your specific approach? Well, uterine fibroids are one of the most common tumors uh, that, that females experience. And traditionally, in the past, most women have uh, opted for hysterectomy or other surgical procedures where fibroids or their uterus are removed. Mm -hmm. That leads to permanent scars, long downtime, and people are looking for less invasive ways to treat their symptoms. Uh, only about 35% of women actually have symptoms. And once you have symptoms, they typically get worse as time goes by. We offer an outpatient treatment uh, that uh, eliminates all the fibroid symptoms and most ladies are back to work in around seven days. The treatment revolves around shutting the blood flow down on the fibroids mm -hmm. and we insert a very tiny catheter into an artery of the body. The catheters are actually so tiny nowadays we insert them through the wrist. Oh, wow. We guide it down into the pelvis. We do an angiogram, map out all the blood vessels in the pelvis and then inject these little tiny particles that permanently block all the blood flow to the fibroids. Immediately the fibroids begin to shrivel up and the symptoms are typically gone in most ladies about two to three months. That is incredible. I think something you just mentioned, only 35% of women even feel that they have pain. That they have symptoms. Fibroids are extremely common. 80% of mm -hmm. African American women and 70% of Caucasian women will have fibroids by the age of 50. Only 35 to 40% will have symptoms though. And these are benign tumors. You don't really need to treat them unless you have symptoms. Yeah. And once you do have symptoms, uh, they usually get worse as time goes by. Sure, yeah, I have some friends that have uh, experienced that pain. So uh, you mentioned the stats there with the percentage, but are there 
are more patients that are more at risk for a fibroid? Uh, African American women are most at risk, 80% okay. by age uh, by age 50. Caucasian women around 70%. Mm -hmm. Hispanic women and Asian women are somewhere in between. Okay. Uh, African American women are particularly at risk because they're more likely to develop larger fibroids and become more symptomatic. Oh wow, that does not sound great. It's a good thing that the, we have this uh, procedure. So what happens if a woman waits though? Will the fibroids shrink on their own or do they need? Uh, typically by menopause, uh, when women go through menopause and their hormone levels drop, the fibroids can shrink and the symptoms can uh, 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 diminish. But we're finding nowadays that uh, with hormone replacement therapy and other things that uh, fibroids are not regressing uh, in everybody. Okay. Uh, but most women that we treat are typically in their 40s or uh, they're through having children. Uh, they're profoundly symptomatic and they're looking for a way to eliminate all their symptoms uh, without having to go through uh, surgery. I was about to say the recovery time on this procedure sounds so much better. Most ladies are back to normal activity, back to work around seven days yeah. after the procedure. Some actually go back to work earlier, uh, but seven days is about average. That's incredible. Uh, where can patients go for any more information on this? If they're well, our website is very informative, HoustonFibroids.com. Uh, we have a lot of information about the procedure, other alternatives. We have frequently asked questions, uh, and they can also find us on the website and, uh, and call our office if they want to talk more. Well, Dr. Hardy, thank you so much for all that information. I hope a lot of people at home found that very helpful, a uh, minimal invasive operation for people to get. Hopefully takes a little bit of that pain away. Again, thank you so much for joining thank Houston you. Happens. Mm -hmm. We'll have more after the show, after the break. This is a paid advertisement for legal services. Here are three things that every Texas biker should know. Respect the road, respect other bikers, and after a crash, call Terry Bryant. Call 713-973-8888. When it comes to Medicare, join the thousands who are checking their checklists with Devoted Health Medicare Advantage plans. Check, check, you know it. Check it off with Devoted. My friends told me that this plan has great prescription drug coverage, so I switched to Devoted. Why do I love this plan? Because dental is included. And when your health care is checked, check, check, it feels you good. Know it. Check it off with Devoted. Devoted Health checks off all the important boxes, like great benefits, healthy extras, and they make everything easy. Some may be paying too much or missing out on benefits they need. Compare your checklists with what's new for 2023. Do you know members can save up to $12,000 a year with Devoted Health? So call them today and request this absolutely free Medicare comparison guide. Check it out. Devoted Health offers plan premiums as low as $0, plus free dental with $5,000 to spend on dentures, crowns, and root canals, $25 or more a month to spend on groceries, plus $1,440 back in your Social Security check. Next, Devoted gives you tons of healthy extras that are designed to keep you healthy and save you money. You'll get hundreds of dollars to spend on items like vitamins and toothpaste, $325 or more a year for eyeglasses or contacts, a $0 copay for labs and tests, plus a free medical alert device and more. Check, check, you know it. Check it off with Devoted. And Devoted makes it all easy with quick access to one-on-one -on -one customer support based here in the USA. Most calls are answered in under 30 seconds. Everyone at Devoted wants to help. Learn more in this free Medicare comparison guide. Take it off with There's no obligation when you call, so pick up your phone and learn more about Devoted Health today. Hey, we love you because you keep it real. <laughs> you spending all this money on strippers. I don't chase no women. Because you give them your money. Oh. Free! Judge Mathis, today at 10 on CW 39 Houston. This is a paid advertisement for legal services. People tell us all the time, I wish I called you right after my car crash. If you've been injured, don't wait, don't miss out, don't have regrets. Call Terry Bryant. Monday. <clears throat> Actor and comedian Leslie Jordan died at the age of 67. Sam Rubin takes a look back at his life and the legacy he leaves behind. He was physically small, but always generated huge laughs. The comic actor Leslie Jordan has died. He's perhaps best remembered for his role as Beverly Leslie, a flamboyant character from Will and Grace. Aaron, this may come as a great shock to you, but I'm a 
homosexual. That's it. Leslie enjoyed renewed attention during the pandemic for a series of at home videos, several of which went viral. Oh, oh. Cut my hair. Do you know that I did not cut my hair from the time I was 14 to 24? I wanted to be a hippie. Jordan's renewed popularity helped her propel him to a series regular role on the Fox comedy Call Me Cat. Over the years, we visited with Leslie many times here at KTLA. When did you migrate from the South to here? I had a degree in theater, which they said to me, please learn to pronounce what your degree is. It's theater. I said, that's what I say, theater. And I had a degree. 1982, I got on a bus. I had $1,200 that mama sewed into my underpants. I'm not making oh, this up. Wow. And I got off the bus at Day Long Prey. It was old bus station. It's now McDonald's. Day Long Prey and Vine. Wow. <laughs> and I got off a bus with a suitcase, a degree in theater. Wow. <laughs> $1,800 in a dream. It was 82. Wow. A man of remarkable spirit and talent, Leslie Jordan had a pioneering one-man show talking about the perils of coming out to his family in his native Tennessee. He was able to take that show from the stages here in Hollywood and tour with it around the country. It's a sudden passing, just 67 years of age. Leslie Jordan will be very, very much missed. Here in Hollywood, I'm Sam Rubin. Out, I will be saying theater instead of theater just to honor Leslie Jordan. Love that interview. Well, that's nearly a wrap on today's show. But before we go, we're taking a look at our sponsored content brought to you by Finish Line Tax Solutions, Anelo, Power Wizard, and Houston Fibroids. That's it for this Tuesday. I hope you get some tacos a little bit later throughout the rest of the week. We will continue talking about the Astros. I do have a special guest uh, planned for later on this week. I think a lot of Astros fans will recognize this woman. She's uh, very close to the team. So make sure you tune in Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Three more days left in this work week. We'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Heath for Houston happens.